America's not going to be pushed around anymore. Our new U.S. Motors A car can out mileage the imports. It's the American way to punch the pump. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell you how great it is to be back here doing the show again. And the best part of doing the whole show now is the fact that my good friend is going to be on the rest of the shows with me, Mr. Harvey Corman. Uh, you know, the best thing I think about Harvey is the fact that he is so down to earth you know coming back to the show like this and everything he's just the same old regular guy that i always knew and as a matter of fact he's so embarrassed really and so shy that he wouldn't even come out here and say hello you know that but i thought maybe if we could just kind of give him a little applause maybe we can't get him out here let's see if we can uh, harvey come on out Show, starring Harvey Corbin, with Peggy Roswell, Miriam Flynn, Dick Orkin and Bert Burton, and the Don Fight and Dead. America's not going to be pushed around anymore. Our new U.S. Motors A car can out mileage the imports. It's the American way to punch the pump. Don't forget the rules of the Institute. After what happened to poor Fabisham, we don't allow anyone to stay here longer than a year. But what happened to Fabisham? Wilfer! Nearly <laughs> <laughs> blew my lid, you know. <laughs> well, he was doing so well studying the rhinos, we let him stay an extra month. Wilfer! <laughs> poor fellow. He gained 300 pounds and wound up with a bird on his nose. <laughs> you mean to tell me that, you see, he was studying rhinos. That's right? right. Well, I'm studying gorillas. Makes no difference, my dear chap. 
Doesn't make any difference. As long as you spend too much time with those animals, you can become one of them. Let me get this straight out. <laughs> Do you mean that just because I'm studying these gorillas, you think that someday there's a possibility that I could actually become a gorilla? Uh, quite That's possible, nonsense. Quite possible. That makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't argue with me, man. Uh, by the way, where are your notes? So my notes are above the middle of the stuff. Why don't you go get them? <laughs> <laughs> Geraniums, are there? Yeah, here are the notes. I don't know them quite completely, yes, sir. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Uh, now take care of my luggage like a good chap, will you? Luggage, you say? Yes. My African twister. <laughs> now jump to it. Farnsworth, you are developing signs of savagery already. Well, I can say that, sir, you see. Uh, yes, I've been here for five minutes. You still haven't offered me tea. Oh, eh? oh, 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 According to uh, these notes, uh, you seem to have established quite a rapport with one of these beasts. Oh, yes, well, I believe you're studying these beasts. You want to get to know them, huh? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, what about you? Any cream? Cream? Oh, no, that's right. Whoa! 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 There's a cream out there, but we get the soap and poison. A very interesting item here. I've never seen anything like this before. Oh. My goodness. <laughs> Hot. Bandini <laughs> 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 Oolong. <laughs> that you find these bees to be somewhat affectionate, tender, loving. <laughs> they smell funny. Well, a certain Couldn't agree with you more, old boy. To me, they're absolutely grotesque, repulsive, revolting, despicable, depraved, absolutely incredible. <laughs> Farnsworth! What's going on here? What going on, sir? Nothing, nothing at all, sir. Nothing, you say? Well, that's a gorilla. That's not a gorilla, sir. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> You've taken leave of your senses. We've got to get you out of here. No, no, we're not leaving. I love her and I won't leave. Please. <laughs> no, that's not you, the other one. <laughs> my dear fellow, what can I say to you? You can't stay here and make some sort of a life with this primitive animal. After all, you know nothing about her. Her family, her background. I mean, she has a pretty face and that's nice body and all, but... <laughs> she could be swinging with every ape in the jungle. <laughs> so I beg you, I implore you, for your life, man. Please, I implore you, go now before it's too late. All right. Doris, I have to leave you now, never to see you again. I know.
I've been away too long, my darling. I missed you so much. <laughs> America's not going to be pushed around anymore. Our new U.S. Motors A car can out mileage the imports. It's the American way to punch the pump. Sweat Shields. The only thing that comes between me and my Calvert clean jeans is too much starch. Calvert clean jeans. Ladies and gentlemen, the Don Crichton Dancer, featuring Maggie Roswell and Mary McQueen.
Hi. <laughs> Ever since I put on my Calvert clean jeans, I've dated all the Rams. <laughs> Calvert clean jeans. And now, ladies and gentlemen, once again, speaking on behalf of Vortex Industries, Mr. Lloyd Adams. Good evening. Tonight, I would like to introduce Vortex Industries' latest product, this new amazing Mighty Glue. <laughs> Mighty Glue is the answer to the question, what product can I buy to fix the many things that get broken all the time that won't cost me more than the thing that was broken. <laughs> I want to fix. <laughs> Mighty Glue will bond any surface <laughs> in seconds. Let me demonstrate how Mighty Glue works. Here is an ordinary teapot. <laughs> Here is... Ordinary teapot. As you can see, the handle is broken off. Ordinarily, you would throw this broken teapot away. But thanks to Mighty Glue, you can now repair it. Mighty Glue is easy to use. Merely puncture the metal protective end with a sharp object, like a pin. Like a pin. <laughs> After you have punctured the metal end, merely squeeze out a small amount of Mighty Glue. <laughs> Now, take your Mighty Glue applicator and simply apply a little Mighty Glue to the portions to be glued. Be careful not to get any on your skin as it will adhere to just about any surface. Now hold the two pieces against each other and for three seconds, apply pressure. 1,001. <laughs> 1,002, 1,000, and your three. There, Mighty Glue has bonded the handle to the teapot. So, so it is as good as, as good as new. Uh, so, if, if you accidentally do get Mighty Glue on your skin, don't worry. glue can easily be removed with a little warm water. <laughs> Most glues on the market are messy and only bond to certain kinds. But Mighty Glue is especially formulated to stick to anything. <laughs> it is guaranteed to stick not for months, but for years, but forever. <laughs> you can repair anything from the most inexpensive item to the most valuable item, such as this $3,000 Ming vase. <laughs> should be in every home. It fixes every... <laughs> it fixes everything fast. And it will last. <laughs> I can say that because I personally... <laughs> have these products. As we say at Vortex, if it's glue, it's mighty glue. If it's broke, it'll be oak. So... <laughs> Mighty Glue is just one more 
America's not going to be pushed around anymore. Our new U.S. Motors A car can out mileage the imports. It's the American way to punch the pump. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That's our show for tonight. I'd like to... Hey, hey, for... hey, hey! I told you something, didn't I? I said, I will handle certain jobs on this show, and you will handle certain jobs on the show. Is that right? Do yes. we agree to that? Yeah. Well, well okay, fun. this is the thing I'm going to do. This is my job. You go do your job. Sorry? Okay, come on, go. <laughs> hey, hey. We'd like to thank Maggie Roswell, Miriam Flynn, Dick Orkin, and Bert Burtis, the Don Crichton dancers, and, of course, me. America's not going to be pushed around anymore. Our new U.S. Motors A car can out mileage the imports. It's the American way to punch the pump. <laughs> Portions of the preceding program were recorded before a live audience. This is your dummy announcer speaking, and why not? <laughs> <laughs>